What's up guys, welcome over here. As you guys know, I have a 2022 Mitsubishi Outlander. So one of the things that frustrates me the most is whenever you have to actually open the hood or something like that, which hopefully if it's a brand new car, you don't have to do it so often. But when you do, and you come across this mechanism, See, if I let it go, it will close right up. Freaking hate that. I don't know about y'all, but I don't like that at all. And the reason it does that is because this thing, as you can see, is not supported by anything. In order to hold this up, you have to prop this little leg and put it in place, which is, it works. It does the job, but I would like to be able to use, prop it open and keep it in place. However, if only there was a gas trot system that you can put it over here like the uh, lift gate that would be idea so this company reached out to me and apparently they call um kido kj and they sent me exactly that a gas trot lift support uh and what intrigued me the most is that you don't actually need to modify anything on your vehicle like meaning that you don't have to drill holes or anything like that this will plug in into existing uh knots and washers things like that and we're gonna go ahead and install it. it's supposed to be like uh it's gonna put in a few brackets in there and that will be it it comes with the instructions right here so apparently apparently they have different colors it comes really nice packet and it extends all the way up and they have different colors they sent me the carbon fiber ones Xian Chang to be better apparently that's what it means so let's go ahead and get this installed I'm gonna do one side and then I come back and show you how to do the other side and again the instru instructions are provided and it should be pretty darn simple let's get right into it all right, so for the L brackets, we're gonna use these mounts that are currently there. They're 13s, 13 millimeters, and we're gonna put them facing inwards, okay? So, what you gotta do. Take that out. And put it back on. There. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So the L brackets are done. Now we gotta put the posts that go in the hood. And for what I can see, they go over here on the instructions. We're gonna have to remove, remove those uh, tabs on the actual liner and that's where we're gonna put them on so all right so these are use push pins and i couldn't find a better way to do it except i just got a screwdriver and pull it while you twist and it comes out the kit provides you with this thing this is just to fit this through boom pull it and it lets go because it has the tape in there so let's do the other side as well same way and I'm going I choose to put the flat side on the bottom it's you'll see the threads Mm 
just a little bit of trial and error but you'll feel it there you go put it straight in now put these plugs if you took them off put them back on there you go there you go and we're just gonna tighten this up now we're gonna put the ones on the bracket there you go do the same thing on the other side for the struts they use clip in clip in the bottom just like so then come over to the top and this thing just I want to let this go for a second there you go second one clips in and the piston side goes down because this one is angled up to take this one right here there you go it's clipped in and now moment of truth will this hold we remove this there you go let's go ahead and close it up and pop it back up and moment of truth boom that's what i'm talking about no more having to use this this now feels like what it should be a high quality car so literally this only takes about five ten minutes if you do it right it took me a little longer because i had to record but that's for your benefit it's a uh, for under 40 dollars 31 32 dollars on aliexpress and about 38 on amazon but again, if you order through Amazon, you might get here way faster because if you have Prime or whatever, I think it's well worth it instead of the AliExpress. However, I link both of them in the description below for whatever you guys are at. But I'm pretty happy with the results. So that's gonna wrap it up for this one. I hope that you find this video helpful. And uh, if you like this product, check the links in the description below. Again, they sent me this for free. They did not tell me what to say or if I, I they just send it to me and told me, hey, go ahead and install it. Let, let them know what you think. Make a video in return. And that's all I did. And to tell you the truth, this is a really simple solution. If, you have, if your car doesn't have the gas struts in them, it's a really cheap and easy way to upgrade this, even if it's a different brand. Again, check, their, uh, check whatever they have available. Or if you just check, if, if you didn't know that this thing existed, it does exist maybe for any other brand any other vehicle but this is gonna be a really good thing that you can do in five to ten minutes with the proper tools again i just use a um i think it was a 12 and a 13 millimeter socket and that's all i needed to use plug and play no modifications to the vehicle really good to go that's it for this one guys and i guess i will see you on the trails let's ride <laughs>